to me. I want them to come to me. Now that's the you know that's the damn dream for everybody, right? But no one else is doing this. Like I I checked everywhere. Um, at that space conference, I literally walked like I talked to everybody. Is anyone? No, no, that's crazy. No one's no, no one. No, there is, is not that I'm aware of either. Yeah, and I che I checked everything. I, and I didn't just check U.S. I checked internationally. No one's doing this stuff. Now, again, as I discussed beforehand, one of the other things we're doing is we're also making damn sure the FBI and CIA know what we're doing. Because, um, again, my COO, he was a colonel in the U.S. military. He actually advised the Joint Chiefs. And I flat out told him, you need to make damn sure that they know what we're doing because I don't want a bunch of G-men in three years knocking on our door and stealing our shit. Even yep. worse, I don't want to get shot because the Russians don't want us to get ahead first. The yep. Chinese, they'll just steal our shit. The Russians – will invite me to stay in a 15th floor hotel room and then for some reason the window fails because they think I'm a journalist. So, you know, it's I and you know what I'm talking about and you're laughing but you know it's true. Oh, uh, Tim McMillan over at the debrief has written a few stories specifically about uh people close to Putin just magically having accidents all the time. Isn't that bizarre? It is so weird that they just just die from gravity. It's the weirdest coincidence. It's just so bizarre. I think journalists at borders flat out said like um like Russia is the most dangerous country to be a journalist in, and that is that includes North Korea for Christ's sake. Like, I mean, you do not want to say the wrong thing in that country. Um, 